Welcome to Yapping with Stashlin and the Boys, the kind of not podcast thing that I'm doing now, because quite frankly, there's just a bunch of things I want to rant about on the <laughs> internet, because I can, and apparently people That's think influencers' funny. opinions actually matter. Um, so to, to, for this installment, uh, we're talking about the Minecraft trailer and how god-awful it was. Uh, let's just get into this. Um, there's a bunch of things I want to rant about, because this is horrible, and... The boys here also think it's horrible. We got DJ Shard. Go support him on Twitch, where he streams very, very occasionally. We got Eagle. He d he isn't really Whoa. on the internet. He just he's our moderator here, and he's 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 a cool guy. You know he's hot. Anyhow, I be around. All right. Yeah. So let's just start with this: the general garbage. Um, <laughs> just getting into it. Starting off. <laughs> It looks like you took you you took RTX plus five twelve by five twelve Minecraft texture pack, combined them together, and then deep fried it. Okay, it's terrible. Not to mention the mobs are animated in an entirely different style to the rest of the movie, and they have near human like faces. That's so creepy thing. Yeah, it's so like it's like uncanny. It is like it's, yes, it is. I want to touch on that. Keep going. But it's like, yeah, it's like you know, like on like the old Legacy Edition where like they had like the texture packs. You know how the, mm -hmm. that like natural, like the natural texture pack. It looks like it looks like that, but on like steroids, but like the bad kind of steroids. Like, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it, it, it just doesn't. Before. It just doesn't look good it at doesn't. all. And I, yeah. No, I. Don't. As Steph has said before, it RTX looks absolute, graphics, uh, like absolute dog Max shit. Max are RTX graphics, but then deep fried it. Like it could look good, and it doesn't. And like, ha had they stuck to a single animation style, I wouldn't be complaining about this because it'd be actually like I could actually look at it, right? But the fact of the matter is, it's so bad that looking at it hurts. I actually yeah. got a headache watching it. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah. Um, so there's that. The mob faces are so kind of realistic that every time you go from not having a mob in the scene to having a mob in the scene, it breaks your immersion and you have to re-immerse yourself back into <laughs> the into the movie. Which is right. just why. Um it's it's just it's so bad. I hate it. I actually hate it. It's terrible. No, it is so awful. Uh, next thing. Also, I'm I'm HD mm -hmm. now, so I mean, I I have I've moved on to the better audio. Oh, have you? Very nice. Yes. Nice. We we, we okay. just upgraded audio mid podcast yap session chat. I just switched great. over to my oh, yeah. I just switched over to my computer chat. It's not that special. Ah, okay. We've just gone from not quality to higher quality. Yeah. Shitty I mean, little there's the other thing. Control, yeah, fair enough. Then there's the other thing of fucking Steve not being the goddamn yep. anchor. Oh my That's god. Thing, yes. <laughs> Steve, I don't know, the player of the game, your player character in Minecraft. Does the yeah. player character of a game need to be the main character of a game a movie made about the game? No. I don't I know, wouldn't. not always. It, I, I would say there are some ways why it w where it would be interesting to not have it be that way, but I don't understand. I mean, I it feels I, super weird, and also like the casting decision. I mean, yeah. look, I love Jack Black as much as the next guy, but when they literally just like when they literally just like grab Jack Black, give him a blue shirt, and just throw him into this movie, like it doesn't oh, yeah. it doesn't work. The costume choices are horrendous. <laughs> it's just. Yeah, it's it's very Jason Momoa in a pink suit. Oh yeah. So this as far as we can tell, based on the intro, you start off with this weird aether portal looking garbage. And then open up into a Minecraft world, which looks like it was generated by AI. You then continue and you see Jason Momoa looking like he transitioned fifteen seconds ago. <laughs> Which, yeah. not to hate on anybody in nope. that community in any way, shape, or form. Do what the hell makes you happy. Don't care. Just... But he just, he looks so out of place. And we, I'm guessing 
this is a big theory. This is going to be just Minecraft Jumanji. Because they're going through a random portal. Someone gets gender swapped. Funnily enough, in Jumanji, the person that gets gender swapped in the game is played by Jack Black. So, that's callback. And then... Right. So that's happening. And we got two other... Three other random characters who I don't think I've ever seen these people before in my lifetime. And they're just some random gang of misfits. Apparently, we got the Mystery Machine gang with us. Yeah, like, very much like... <laughs> like, very, um... Very off-brand. Like Oh, incredibly. Incredibly off-brand. Like I've already... I said off-camera. It's like... It's like the classic, like, it's very cliche where it's like, you get, like, n nerdy kid who's, like, the leader of the group who has, like, street smarts because he's played the game. Because this is very clearly showing up to be, like, a very, like, off-brand Jumanji. Oh, yeah. Where, like, oh, these people are, like, getting teleported into the game of Minecraft through, like, the nether portal or whatever. Um, Even though it's not the nether <laughs> portal. It's not purple. Yeah, <laughs> I literally... the ether portal. If I any, know. Yeah, if it was any portal beat, which I guess so it's like, either exists in Minecraft confirmed. We've got, we, yeah, we have new Minecraft canon now. Right. So it's like, yeah, so you get like, you get like nerdy kid who's got the street smarts because he's played Minecraft. You get dry humor, like apathetic, like tween girl. You get, uh, <laughs> you get comic relief, sassy black character. And then Jason Momoa. <laughs> Like, that's literally all it Which, is. Just not Jason to mention, Momoa. I couldn't understand half of what that um, sassy teenage girl was saying. I couldn't understand half of what was coming out of her mouth. Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if she was the... trying to put on an accent or something, but she was not mm -hmm. intelligible in any way. <laughs> I know. It's, it's Maybe so that's great. just me being, like, deaf. That could just be me. That's a very me issue. I haven't heard that from anybody else. Yeah. But that that bothered me. Um, another mm -hmm. thing, along the lines of breaking Minecraft canon, in this movie, piglins don't turn into zombified piglins in the overworld. Bit of a nitpick, but piglins go from the, from being in the nether to being in the overworld, and they don't turn into zombified piglins like they're supposed to, so, uh, this is not actually set in Minecraft, chat, this is set in some, uh, any other random universe, because this universe doesn't yeah. abide by the laws of Minecraft. Uh, so there's that problem. Let's see. Yeah. Here. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna look. I'm gonna read the synopsis from the teaser trailer in the description. Okay. Hit it. So, all right. <laughs> Welcome to the world of Minecraft, where creativity doesn't just help you craft; it's essential to one's survival. Four misfits: Garrett, the garbage man Garrison, played by Jason Momoa; Henry, played by Sebastian Eugene Hansen, Natalie played by Emma Myers, and Dawn, uh, played by Danielle Brooks, find themselves struggling with ordinary problems when they are suddenly pulled through a mysterious portal into the overworld, a bizarre cubic wonderland that thrives on imagination. To get back home, they'll have to master this world and protect it from evil things like piglins and zombies, too, while embarking on a magical quest with an unexpected expert crafter, Steve, played by Jack Black, Together, their adventure will challenge all five to be bold and to reconnect with the qualities that make each of them uniquely creative. The very skills they need to thrive back in the real world. Okay, well, I'm so now that you mentioned Jumanji. that... Yeah, it is Jumanji. It's like it's Jumanji, it's now. literally just off-brand Jumanji. Also, by the also, way, our... they added new crafting recipes that don't exist in the game, too. So yep. this is just actually... I'll, I saw that. The, the double bucket connected by a chain? That's not a thing. Yeah, that that's mm, is interesting. Also, our original prediction of um, Jason Momoa's character is just like a teen girl like in a man's body or whatever. Was wrong. Basically, basically the Jack, basically the Jack Black in like the new Jumanji sort of same joke is incorrect. Thank God. So he's just some yeah. God, we also, I'm that. sorry, but Jason Momoa, his costume just he looks like so uncomfortable someone said this. Someone place. said this in the comments. Like the entire cast looks so generic, and then Jason Momoa just looks so out of place. Like it's yeah. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing in the world. Like he's in like let me see if I can get a good like yeah, he's in like a fucking tank top 
like with a pink, pink, with a pink blazer over the top of it. Pink, pink blazer, long hair, and like jeans. Yeah, the like, costume it, design for this for this movie is pretty god awful. This, yeah, you don't say. Oh, by the way, apparently they think creepers are fuzzy creatures in this movie. Yeah, yeah. that's so weird. Why, the creepers like, why is have the fur? creeper fuzzy? Why is, why is why? the creeper fuzzy? They're not made of mold. Yeah. And they're not an They are not made of mold. <laughs> they're a plant. But let me they see this double sentient. bucket. This double bucket with a chain. I want to see what the what the crafting recipe they use for it is. It looks like it was two sticks, Wait, two ingots, and something else. Two st it's like two sticks and two iron ingots, it looks like. Which, why that would create a chain, God knows how. I don't know. This Who this movie is... At, they have shot this movie it's about 17 times and they expected it to live. It's it's awful. Yeah. Actually awful. Yeah, this is... It's so weird. Like, this is... Yeah, of course, you got... Beyond. Weird. You got you got like Jason Momo in the background with like this fucking Tesseract cube. Yup, the Tesseract cube. We have no yeah. idea what that is. Apparently, Marvel We're... exists in Minecraft now too. Yeah. Unless that's a brand new block they're planning on adding to the game, like this Aether portal thing that they stepped through. So uh, I guess the Aether portal's confirmed as coming to Minecraft. Yay! I mean, the only thing I could think of is if the um is if the diamond block just apparently is now glowing. It can glow. Yeah, we got glowing diamond, a diamond block. A diamond block infused with radiation. All I can think of is it's either a really poorly designed sea lantern, or yeah. it's this weird RTX shaders thing that they've got going on in the game. <laughs> yeah, April fourth, twenty twenty five. That's this. Mm, yeah, of course this, it comes on April fourth. God, couldn't have been a summer with this. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they yeah, don't want people comments... to see it. These comments are very, very good. Oh yeah, they uh, they right. left the comments on. <laughs> the fucking fucking YouTuber James Ski like commented like the pig from Minecraft Story Mode died for this. Ruben died for this. <laughs> Ruben yes. died for this. You know, honestly, Minecraft Story Mode does not deserve didn't deserve the hate back then, and it sure as heck deserves yeah. an apology now. Yeah, this feels like a Minecraft skit a YouTuber would make in 2013. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, the yeah. Minecraft in real life skits from 2014 with the fake hero brand were better. Honestly. Yeah. yeah, they legit hired Minecraft mobs and real life YouTubers from 2014 as character designers. Honestly. Oh my god. The mob design is actually makes me so uncomfortable. Watching mm -hmm. that trailer actually made my skin crawl. It, I no, was... there. I... I knew that there was no way that this movie was going to be good. I just I was I, I'm surprised so hard to not be negative about it. And I set it's... the bar so low and it's still like they still didn't clear it. Oh. Like oh the bar God. wasn't on the floor, it was in the basement. And they still And they still failed. couldn't clear it. I don't they get how they bedrock. did so they, poorly. They broke yeah. bedrock to do this. Oh yeah. Yeah, they did. Yeah, it's can't yeah. wait to see that happen in the movie. Oh yeah, it's gonna happen one way or another. Yeah, maybe with that double bucket, it'll just like it's just a bucket of bedrock forever. All right, all right. I will be. You guys continue yapping. Okay. I will be back in a moment. Yiku, we haven't heard a whole lot from you. It's time for it's your turn to get in on this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Fair enough. I mean, yeah. I mean, also, uh, llama at the end. What the? Fuck? Oh yeah. Which I, that arrow, the way it landed, I want to talk about that too because that the way the arrow landed, oh my god, completely defies Jesus Minecraft's Christ. physics. Uh huh. It, why it, it entered the ground and then turned twenty five degrees? Who God knows why? Like, huh? I'm I'm so confused. Keep keep going. They literally just took Minecraft, replaced half of the stuff from it, and slapped the Minecraft logo. <laughs> Yeah, the only good I'm I'm convinced the only actually good part was that dope Minecraft logo scene at the end, where it starts forming out of blocks. That was the only huh? good portion of it. It was so bad. Dope Minecraft logo left slack on that thing. That's about all it has. Been that before, CGI right? department right there, that did that is it's the only credit that this movie deserves for anything. 
I feel bad for the people who had to work on this movie. Because these people are- some of these people might be getting- or might get, like, death threats for this. And so I feel bad for the CGI people that are just, like, told, yep, this is what you're gonna do. Because, like so many creative things, this got left up to a board of executives that don't understand how creativity works. And they think they know what they're doing. And then they take away everything that the fans want out of a project and then wonder why yeah. it fails. So, yeah, can't I can't wait to see this movie not even make its budget back in the box office. Oh, it will not make its money back. Mm -mm. I mean, and, and as uh, DJ said before, it's like you have Badlands and Minecraft as the two next next big... <laughs> oh, yeah, Borderlands, um, yeah. Yeah, Borderlands. As the next two big, like, video game movie releases, it's just gonna tank the reputation with yep. how bad it's, it's gonna It's gonna right be now. the death of video game movies for a while. We've well, had so few good video game movies as of recently, and this is not helping. Oh, it's hurting. <laughs> I was... After the Mario movie, I was really hoping this was turning a new leaf, and then this happened. Nope. Because they, they, they saw money, and they went straight for money, not quality. Yeah. It's the, same, it's the same thing that's happened with every video game movie. How we can keep making the same mistake, I don't know. Nope. Yep. It's actually depressing. I'd be genuinely surprised if they keep making more of them after this. I think Hollywood's probably gonna really pump the brakes on this stuff for a while. I really hope they do, so that they don't ruin another franchise. Nope. I, they're already ruining a lot. I was trying so hard to not be pessimistic about this movie. And it, I, I can't not be pessimistic about it now. I just, I can't. Not in good conscience. In a good conscience, can I stop ripping on this? Because it's just, it's it's not going to be good. Yeah, I mean, cause it's, it just, it gives me an aneurysm even looking at the thing. Oh, yeah, I don't, or I, I don't, or I don't disagree. It's got more problems, it's got solutions. Yeah. Somehow this is... Why did they think Mine... We saw how people hated the Jumanji movies, and we thought that making another one was a good idea? Really, guys? They, they did the classic thing. They texture-packed the Jumanji movie. Yeah. And said, send it out. Might as well have gotten the rocket on it, too, if you're going to commit to the bit that hard. I think Kevin Hart and Rock on the thing. I mean, we already got Jack Black, who which Jack Black is just Kevin Hart but white. Honestly. I it, it's it's so bad. I I don't know what yeah, to say. I can't say anything else about the other casting decisions because I don't know them. Is the thing we know two people basically. Oh, uh, we've read off a little bit, and the other, other yeah. like the not the other three in the main character group are people I've never heard of in my life. Nah. Random actors that I have never heard of. It's like they got the money for Jack Black and Jason Momoa and said, "Oh, that's our budget." Yeah, basically. Plus all the AI generated terrain and CGI that they ha that they have to do. That's why it's AI generated. It's like, that doesn't take a lot of money. No, it doesn't. It just takes a bunch to render it. Though. It takes a bunch to keep it rendered. Though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't yeah. wait to see some Marvel Oz CGI for this movie, and it's just. Oh my god. Because we know that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that is what's gonna happen. Why can't we have one good move video game movie? Why is it so difficult? I want to make money. I mean, how like the Sonic movie, which is kind of a video game movie, is really just a children's comedy. Yeah, and it's still good. And like it's, it's great. <laughs> For what it is, it's amazing. Yeah. I can't argue with it. I love Jim Carrey too. You know, they had actual Very good amazing. casting choices. Mm-hmm. And they they had a god all they had a god awful trailer at first, and then yeah, they, they actually fixed it. I I have a feeling 
Minecraft isn't going to do this. And I debate how much Mojang actually had anything to do with the creation of this movie. This is all I'm Warner Bros. This, this is think, all Warner Bros. Just yeah, this is Warner Bros. Over. doing Warner Bros. garbage again. Because yeah. I have Mojang would not do this. What? They would the, the Mojang team. They've got their faults, you know, working five minutes a year total. But like, they wouldn't do this to the fans. They know what their fans want, and they wouldn't. You could have Steve. You could have Steve and Alice go on a quest together. Yeah. That should be the only people. Which I that's gonna that I can tell you right now they wouldn't do that because that movie's not gonna make anything in the box office. Not that this is either. It's gonna be better than whatever the hell this is. The problem with the idea of a Minecraft movie is that just watching a let's play is a that's Minecraft a movie. Mm. Just it's just watch Minecraft a Minecraft let's ironically. play. Then, yeah, Minecraft doesn't have a, a story. It's a sandbox follow. game. Yeah. You're supposed to create your own story with it. Like, that's... That's the entire point. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you could go and kill the Ender Dragon and make a movie about that, which, I mean, I'd watch it. Watch it, yeah. See, that was, the, that was actually the beauty behind the D&D &D movie, is that, yes, you can create your own story, but it's also a story-based game, not a sandbox. Like, D&D um, &D is literally meant to be a story. Whatever you want. It's not that it's just whatever you want. Yes, is that the case? Yeah. Okay. But it's the fact that it's just like you could do anything with it, you know? Yeah. At any time, you know, it's it is your own story that you're coming up with. And that's why it works so well as a movie. Right. Because it has narrative and plot. This doesn't. It was where Minecraft story mode struggled, you know? With, you know, Minecraft doesn't have a story, so you can do a Minecraft story mode. Plus, they also have Telltale doing it, which is also a massive nail on the... Which is also a massive thorn in your side there, too, because Telltale doesn't know how to make games. That's a different rant that we can do later. It's rant. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I should say this for anyone who's watching. Uh, leave a comment. Tell us about what else you want us to uh, do a, yaps, a stash and yap session about. Yeah. Uh, I'm no, happy to do whatever. Yeah. We're pretty much yapping all the time, anyways, whether yeah. or not we're on camera. So, so if y'all give us some suggestions to yap about, yeah, please let us know. We'd love to yap for money. Absolutely, I'd love to yap for money. Which, it's like we're really on the side of the road with like a cardboard sign. We'll yap for money. Honestly. <laughs> so, uh, before we close this out, I just want to mention this video is sponsored by WU's code Stashlin at checkout. You'll get tw you get 20% uh, off until the end of September. Uh, after that, you will. It's just uh, it's my creator code. It's code Stashlin, S T A C H E L I N at checkout. They have. They also have energy free supplements. So if you don't want the caffeine, you know maybe caffeine doesn't sit well with you. Trust me, I get it. Maybe you don't like the taste of water. Get the caffeine free version. Everything's sugar free anyway, so you're not going to get crashes. It's chock full of vitamins, and it's not got weird cancer causing carcinogens and gamer in G fuel or gamer subs. Okay, it's better for you. Uh, I think that's everything. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I guess I'm. I have no idea how to end this. Yeah, we just we just yap. Okay? Thanks for yeah yeah. Thanks for <laughs> being here to. Thanks yap. for listening yeah. to us yap. Th thanks for listening to us yap. All right. Bye, guys.